Hello and welcome to a very short message. This is a collective message for all signs. And I'm just recording it because Venus is going retrograde today, which is the 22nd of July 2023, until early September. And the reason why I want to record this is because the planet of love obviously is Venus that goes into retrograde, but it is also known as the planet of sort of financial security. Now, here's the thing. Finances or money is not a spiritual currency. You can't really manifest money. What you can, what you can manifest is wealth and abundance. Um, but the term money comes with all sorts of human um, contracts, even negative connotations. So um, I'm going to look into just how the uh, the Venus aspect with regards to um, wealth and abundance is affecting the overall energy uh, of all of us. Hence, it's a collective message and not related to each or, or to an individual sign. Um, let me just remind you that the next video is dropping on the 25th. Um, about changes that need to be made. Um, really, really important because the 25th of July 2023 is the energy of 777. So the 25th, 5 and 2 is 7, July is 7, 2023 is 7. So um, a lot of stuff with regards to changes um, ought to be made on the 25th. A video about this is going um, to be accessible to you guys on the 25th and then all the videos for August uh, which means all the, the videos for the individual signs are also going to be released uh, uh, or published on the 28th as per usual. Um, oftentimes uh, I use the, the, the 28th of the month to do all this so there's tons of videos coming. In August I have a guest. My guest in August for the readings is Claire Garbett. She runs the Not a Tree Holistic Therapy Center in in Telford. So the, the point is there's tons of videos coming at you in total. I think it's about 15 videos um, that are coming to you and not just your, um, your video for your very zodiac or star sign. In any case, you would be silly not to uh, subscribe now. Uh, so please like, subscribe and share and please share widely. But um, there's a lot of content uh, that is being recorded at the moment because usually I only record um, monthly readings for each sign. But because we're in the era of supermoons, I'm getting so much more uh, and I'm being asked by my guides to do so much more, so much more recording. Um, and I expect this to sort of return to normal by early September when the supermoon energy really goes away. Now, the full moon uh, in September is sort of still looked at as a super moon, but it is not as close as close um, than the other four that we're currently in where or are. In any case, um, with regards to Venus going retrograde today until early September, when it comes to what you have to look at or should be looking at um, with regards to any worries about uh, um, wealth and abundance. What the guides are saying is there's always enough strength for you. So if you remember that you have been through uh, hard days, um, you will then also notice that not one of these days that were super hard for you are happening at this point in time. So you're not in a bad place when it comes to your wealth. Uh, to your abundance. And um, yes, it's much harder at this point in time to manifest money, which is why I always say, you know, step away from using that term. Right? Don't, don't manifest money. Manifest abundance. Right? You can use the money that you want for whatever the heck you want. But you ask for money, you ask for a an energetically lower lower vibrating uh, um, thing. So it doesn't really work. So step away from, from, from using the term money and in fact looking at money. Abundance is out there, wealth is out there. You have to understand that what you're attracting is what you want and money is not something you want. Money, 
scratches uh, scratches an itch money can pay for some stuff that may be difficult so you manifest abundance you manifest no issues you manifest to be sustained that is all much easier than asking for paper um, that we call money because energetically speaking it is just not a good idea now as the guides already said um, things are not as difficult and are not going to be as difficult as you think they are going to be and you have the number 11 right uh, which is the number of uh, the, the, the highest number there is and you have the number of progressions and journey so the number of progression is three right if that makes sense um, but the overall arching number for that for that car that represents the journey you're, you're on we are all on because it's for all signs is progression so what we're being asked from now until early September, which means all through August, is to reflect on how are we all looking at situations that are difficult. Um, do we panic? Do we feel totally lost? This is the time for all of us to understand that life has always been a journey, is going to be a journey. Should there be any issues financially, because, you know, this is one of the topics here. Um, again, I don't see them to be super difficult to begin with. But what is harder to manifest is abundance when you link it to, to money. So ask the universe to get you what you want. Right? If that makes sense. Um, and I always say the same thing to my guides. Right? You make this work for me, you make this happen, and if you need me to work harder, I will. Um, and that's a, a really much better way than to um, accomplish what you're looking for. Right. So again, I'm getting that very strongly. Get away from, from the term finances, money, if that makes sense, sense because it's just not uh, an energy that flows, and therefore the universe is not interested and can't even manifest money because it is not a currency it's not a spiritual currency ultimately you guys whatever is happening right now obviously hold on to your wealth until the uh, the beginning of july i think venus is in, in 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 retrograde until the second or the third of july can't remember anyway early july uh, sorry early september not july early september um so at the moment um you know don't be a person that 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 spends tons of things um obviously there's two sides to all of this you know you 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 do spend money you get the energy out there it is just uh, something that you that that you use for paying for stuff again uh, uh pay for services with, with with gratitude and understand that we're just using this paper money because that is just the way um the world now runs Right, if that makes sense, there used to be uh, just an exchange, right? Exchanges uh, like coffee and cake, my favorite exchange, doesn't pay your bills. I understand that completely. The universe understands that too. And yet, it is because a lot of people are focused on that thing called money. Um, it is not ever something that can be manifested because, energetically speaking, it is a low and is off low vibration so please 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 at this point in time since the energy of venus which has to do with with accumulating abundance and wealth is slightly slower it makes sense to not go out and wildly spend if that makes sense so that doesn't mean you just sit there for the next six weeks and go like oh for crying out loud i can't afford anything because that's not you're not asked to do that either right so as long as you're not focusing on oh, on your difficulties and make it sort of feel, you know, allow yourself to feel um, really burdened by it, it's not going to be uh, all that burdensome, if that is a word, right? Anyway, you guys, that was just a quick message, a collective for all signs, because Venus goes into retrograde. Um, just a bit of a tip, just a bit of help from the guides to you. Please like, subscribe and share. And you know what? I had my beard trimmed. And all that hair done here about two weeks ago. And normally 
I go to the barbers every four weeks um, and I already look feral. So I might be the proof that we are actually primates. <laughs> primates with glasses, that is. In any case, why am I even mentioning that? Anyway, all good. See you soon. Bye-bye.